Come 2036, 13 years from now, the trucking industry in California will change dramatically. That's when big rigs or buses that run on diesel will no longer be available for sale in the state. It's a move from the California Air Resources Board that's expected to help with air quality and combat climate change. But as 23ABC's Brianna Willis explains, some feel it's another regulation on the trucking industry that was already hit hard during the recent winter storms. California is the first state in the world to approve this rule, creating a path to 100% zero emissions, heavy duty trucks on the road in the state by 2045. But one local truck driver I spoke with says, while he understands it will help the environment, it is hurting his business. The trucking side is just, it's, it's really hard. It's, it's hard because you, you do everything you can and then it's like, bam, 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 and you're like, uh. Another day, another regulation. That's what it's like for Johnny Olagas, who owns the trucking company Olagas Inc. At the end of April, the California Air Resources Board, also known as CARB, unanimously approved ending the sale of traditional diesel trucks or combustion trucks by 2036. When you're phasing out those diesel trucks, what you're doing is you're creating higher barrier to entry for the trucking industry or for that truck driver that was keeping, you know, that was trying to go into another industry. Olaga says this rule on top of an already challenging year due to winter storms has hit him hard. He says he's tried increasing the prices of hauling, but that's easier said than done. What I'm trying to do is basically keep up, get better rates from, you know, my, my customers, which means higher prices for the hauling, but a lot of them, don't, they, a lot of those guys don't want to pay or you know, women don't want to pay. And that's that's been really difficult. Sydney Vergas with CARB says the goal of the change is to help with the environment. We have some pretty significant air quality problems in California and the impacts of combustion really continue to fall hev heavily on the most low income communities. Um, particularly those burdens are really felt in the San Joaquin Valley. Vergas adds while zero emissions big rig trucks are expensive, the cost in the long run will even out. The advanced clean fleets regulation is really expected to save 26 billion in terms of statewide health benefits um, from um, curbing the rollout of criteria pollutant emissions in the field and will result in a net cost savings to fleets of 48 billion dollars. But Olaga says while this may work for bigger companies, it doesn't for smaller companies like his. And while he says the regulation will help the environment. For the most part, I would say that what their resource board doing is 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 the right thing, right? Because it is. We need to clean the air. You know, we've had a lot of issues with that. I mean, you're driving down the grapevine, you can see that. He believes the infrastructure is not there to completely strip away diesel trucks. Either way, he has now started a new business to try and stay afloat. Turns out Air Resource Ward wants to do opacity testing. My, I have trucks which are being heavily regulated. Well, why don't I become one of those guys too that regulates? So now I could do my own opacity testing as well as for everybody else in town. Olaga's new business is called Higgs Fleet Services, where he helps with the opacity testing, which he says starting next year will be required by CARB twice during the year. CARB also has a truck stop webpage for resources about the regulations, and we have that link on our website, turn to 23com In studio, Brianna Willis, 23ABC News, connecting you. Now, with all the controversy surrounding the transition from diesel to all electric trucks, we took an in-depth look and found out there is a possible third fuel option that uses a combination of hydrogen and oxygen, which could satisfy both environmental advocates and officials with the trucking industry. Truck builder PACR and Toyota are currently developing and building trucks that run on hydrogen fuel cells. Fuel cell engines use smaller batteries than plug-in electric trucks, and their tanks can be filled to capacity quicker than recharging a battery. The tanks for a fuel cell truck can be filled in as little as 15 minutes and technology is being developed to get the time to under 10 minutes. Trucking officials claim hydrogen fuel cell trucks can also travel farther and pull heavier loads than electric trucks. Plus, hydrogen fuel cells don't pollute the environment as much. 